guys, JB here. Excited you're with me. I uh, wanted to jump in the studio today and just do a quick video uh, to discuss some of the things that are happening out there in technology and obviously this e-ink world. And also, uh, just a quick note to remember the fallen on 9-11. I got something for you at the end of this video I want to talk about with that and what it means to have a meme and really understand mentally what we can do um, with the time frame of the last 20 years. So we'll get to that in a minute, but real quick, I just want to do a video. We have another Kickstarter out there, the Top Joy Butterfly, uh, that's raised almost a half a million dollars, I believe, right around there. The right ring stone uh, still is out there and we're trying to get more information. There's still not a lot of updates and things happening. And the thing that I want to want you want to caution you about, the Top Joy, I'm not so worried about it. It's actually a little bit inexpensive. The ring stone a little bit more expensive is that these devices okay and this is the books uh, color one that they have the super note here have been around a long time and i'm reading the comments in these kickstarters and i never want to be negative i just want to be pragmatic and i read at what people want these things to do and they're saying these des slurry devices which is what these tablets are that they're kickstarting with they're wanting them to do just, I mean, so many things. And for me, when I get these devices, my primary thing is note taking. That's why I love the Remarkable and the paper device. They both work great. The paper I use for work, the Remarkable I use for all my planning and notes. These devices typically are more of a consumer uh, media device for me. In fact, on my website, I got a quiz you can take and kind of help you understand these, what device with your thinking style might be good for you. Morningcoach.com is my website, by the way. Where these devices, like the books, is more of a multi-application device, kind of like an e-ink iPad, not there, but kind of, right? So when I look at the books devices and I look at the comments on the Top Joy Butterfly and I look uh, at the comments for the Reading Stone and what people want these things to do. I mean, Onyx has been at this a long time and I would say their devices with the Android are a little more complicated. If you love Android, they do a good job. I have no issues with them. It's not a device that I would use. I grabbed the Remarkable the Paper because I like a simple, easy workflow. These can be simple and easy and the problem is that even though it is simple and easy, your OCD can kick in and you see all that other stuff going on. And I get it. People say, well, just delete that and you can, you know, you don't need to worry about it. But it's not the same. It's, there's a reason the way people think and, and the way and kind of why you like certain things and certain devices. There's billions of people in the world. So we all like different things, right? So the Onyx makes great products. Um, they're, they're a little more structured or, you know, Android based more. Um, what do I want to say? A little more complicated to use. But when I look at the Kickstarters and people are expecting them to do more than this, right? It's, it's going to be pretty hard to do. These guys have been at it a long time and I'm just still cautioning you uh, to not have your expectations up too high. These DA, DES panels are built in China and, and it's not so much about the hardware, which is very minimalistic, but not so much about that. It's about the software and trying to get these things to work. You know, the iPad is a lot different. They have the App Store. It's been around forever and people build apps for that. So OneNote works with the iPad. These devices typically don't have um, apps built for them. And part of the reason is the market share. There's just not enough money in it. If there was enough money in these devices and they could sell billions and billions of dollars of this type of device, Amazon would own the market. I mean, Amazon creates, it creates everything. If they wanted to make a note taking device, they would be in that business. There's a reason they're not. And you have to think about that, right? There's a reason Amazon hasn't jumped in and said, hey, we're going to build a color note taking device um, when they have the Kindles. Um, so you have to realize there's not a ton of money. So for an app developer to say, hey, I'm going to take this and make it for the books or an e-ink device, you're not going to get the functionality that you would. They're not native apps built for these devices. So there's always issues with it. So the caution that I have is, and, and like with the re stone, I was still upset they didn't send a device to Voya, who is the I, by far the best e-ink reviewer out there in, in the marketplace, is that the expectations that they're setting that these are going to be all be the be all end all i i think the top joy i'm a little more happy with because they're just a reader basically with some note taking the reading stone is really saying it's this note taker and neither of them as with this new ds screen has showed any real note taking capability yet at least the type of notes that i take 
So I just want to caution you as we go, and we'll see them. They're going to be coming out soon. We don't have a lot of news in that area, but um, definitely been a million and a half raised, which is pretty interesting. And I think it's great that they can do the Kickstarter, but we got to be cautious with that. Okay. On another note, I had mentioned that, you know, one of the things we're doing is obviously my coaching is my biggest business. You know, I'm coaching professional athletes. We had uh, Ivan Ramirez just win his uh, uh, Venezuelan Open golf tournament. We've got I've got five or six now professional golfers. It's awesome. I've got some pro athletes. And then we also obviously coach thousands of people around the world through my systems. And uh, one of the things I would mention about 9-11, and I brought that up, is that 9-11 was 20 years ago. And I just want you to think about that today really about, wow, that's 20 years ago. And I want you to think about what you could do differently. 20 years ago, I was selling and buying and selling aircraft. I was working for a company called Ever, Evergreen International Aviation. Now, I forget when the towers were hit. I was living in Aventura, Florida. Pilar came and got me. I walked into the living room and watched that, watched the second tower get hit. And then I got a call from my uh, CEO of, of, of the company and said, JB, hey, we need to buy aircraft. The government has told us we need to buy aircraft. So I went and started working for DOD as a civilian and I flew to Jamaica the next day or either the 13th, or the 12th or the 13th, whenever we, I was on the first flight out of Miami to Jamaica to buy an aircraft from Air Jamaica so that we could turn around and sell it to the US government. And it was all kind of underground, like we couldn't really discuss it because they didn't want anybody to know. Nobody knew what was really going on then. And I really wasn't happy in that job, it, you know, looking at her and, you know, at that time, nobody knew what was going on, having to get on a plane. It just wasn't a lot of fun to me. And so I got into coaching. I wrote books, did my PhD. Uh, you know, I've done 4,500 podcasts, thousands of videos, courses, and literally changed my life over 20 years. And the reason I'm telling you that is because you can change at any time. You just got to realize that sometimes it takes a little more time to do things. We overestimate what we can do a short amount of time, like this YouTube channel. Anybody does YouTube would be like, oh man, that's great. Let's grow this thing really fast. It just doesn't work. I mean, some people do if they're already a celebrity. But the truth is, it's over an extended amount of time that things really start to work, right? So we underestimate what we can do over a long period of time. What the meme of 9-11 is, is it's in our brains. We all know it. It's just like, remember that was 20 years ago and think about what you could have been doing every day differently that would have got you someplace different now, right? And what can you do over the next 20 years ago? There's no, I think, Chinese cone that says the best time to plant an oak tree was 20 years ago or today. And that's really what I'm gonna leave you with is, you know, plant that oak tree today. What can you do today to keep going on, right? What can what can you do that's really gonna make a difference? And, you know, I always put tools together. You can go over to morningcoach.com. I have the what type of thinking style, not only for these devices, but also for organizational productivity things you do. And I also got a new webinar called Building the Dream System. And it's about people that get stuck. They, they start something and then get distracted. And I really go over... Uh, how, how to stop that. And you can watch that webinar over on morningcoach.com. But as always, you know, I appreciate your support here. There's a lot of great things going on. And, and because of subscribers and members of my website, I can do so many different things. And I'm just so happy to, to be putting this great energy out there every single day. And I appreciate you. Hey, Top Joy and Ring Stone, we hope that they're going to be great devices. Just don't get your hopes up too much, okay? Be careful with that. Uh, because when you get it, I just don't want you to be too disappointed. It will work, but just like these books products, they work, but just don't think about these apps and the infrastructure. It's just not there yet, not even for these guys, let alone some for some Kickstarter. So just don't have your hopes up too much. Just understand what you're getting. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Go have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.